kill Mufasa? Precisely. But we are talking kings and successions. Even you can't be caught unawares. You won't get a sniff without me! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's Halloween video, I am bringing you Scar from The Lion King. I love the movie so much. I went and I saw the remake this year. They did a fantastic job. Like, if you did not see it, you really should because it is amazing. I knew I had to do this makeup for my Halloween series. So with that being said, give this video a big ol' thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already blocked my eyebrows and I'm gonna go in with the Mayron palette um, and I'm going to take the shades red, yellow, orange, and just a tiny bit of brown, and I'm going to mix these together using water uh, to get the color of Scar. Scar is not exactly yellow. He has a darker color than the other lions, so we're going to try to achieve that. And basically, we're going to make a face mask, so we're going to go around the eyes and the cheeks and the nose. So once our first shade has dried down, we're, we're going to go ahead and go in with the white and we're going to start to create the beard or that's around the mouth. Now using a smaller brush, I'm going to take the white paint and I'm going to actually make hair like strokes right on the sides of my nose. Now taking our black paint, I'm going to start going all around our face and making our mane.
Now taking a very small detail brush, I'm going to go through and make hair-like strokes along the bottom of our mane and around the chin. Going back, I'm going to go ahead and make little small tiny hairs throughout our longer hair strokes. Now for the nose, I'm going to use a small pointed brush and I'm going to kind of put this in like a V shape. For Scar's eyebrows, I'm just going to go ahead and paint these on um, and make a curve out of them. Now, the bottom portion does not have to be perfect because we are going to fix that with the red paint we're about to use. Now I'm going to take red paint and paint our lid. This is going to go from our actual lid all the way up to the top of the eyebrow.
Now using black paint, I'm gonna make a domed shape on our lid, and I'm also gonna line my lower lash line. The mouth portion is probably the hardest part for me. Um, just pay really close attention to whatever picture you decide to use. And um, I only went along my top lip to create the mouth. Now taking a very small angle brush, I'm gonna go ahead and create the scar. The scar is on the left hand side, so just make sure you're aware of that when you go in. Um, I think the first time I tested this makeup out, I actually put it on the wrong side and also kind of crooked, one looking one way, the other, it, it was a mess. Uh, anyways, uh, the top of the scar actually goes through the eyebrow, but not into the eyelid. Um, and of course you wanna make this pointed because it is a claw mark. special effects purposes I went ahead and painted my shoulders orange uh, to create the body portion and of course I brought the black shade down into the hair Alright, guys so that is it for the scar tutorial I hope you really like the way that this turned out I absolutely love the Lion King and this was just so much fun to do so don't forget I have plenty of tutorials coming your way so make sure you guys are subscribed hit that little notification bell down below so you guys know when the videos go live and I'll see you next time bye So if you guys want to see how I created my scar, no. So if you guys want to see how I did this tutorial, so if you guys want to check out how I... I knew right away that I had to do this for my Halloween makeup. I knew I, ha I, knew I had to do this for my Halloween tutorial. I knew I had to do this makeup for my Halloween series. So without further ado, if you guys want to see how I created Scar from The Lion King, if you guys want to see how I created Scar from The Lion King, if you guys want to see how I created this,